How y'all doing today? This is Red. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up a uh, mobile repeater system for your Belfang radios. So I've had to do a little bit of research on this. There's a few uh, YouTube videos out there, um, but they all seem to kind of be either super complex or um, they're missing things. So first off, this right here is, oops, it's upside down, sorry, the actual specific Baofeng repeater that's uh, made for the system. So basically it has an input and an output. Um, I've marked this one right here as the receiver and then this one over here as the transmitter. Okay, so my receiver is, well, it's shut off. Maybe I ought to turn it on. My receiver is set at 467.625, which is uh, FRS 14. And then I have a positive 600 offset. So this is set to 468.225, okay? So again, we have uh, receive, which is this one, which is at uh, FRS 14. And then we have transmit, which is a plus 600 offset. And I'll show you how that works here. So uh, I'll take this. And I'll turn it on. Frequency mode. Okay, so this, as you can see, is set to 467.625. Okay, so if this repeater is not working, it would uh, receive and transmit uh, at that channel if it wasn't set to a positive 600 offset. So this is what I mean by that. So I'll go to. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this off the off the uh, charger here, because for whatever reason, whenever this one's charging, it wants to sit there and transmit. Um, okay, so I'll go uh, menu. Menu. And then first I'm going to go to 25. Now this is your offset. So if you haven't messed with your offset yet, it's gonna be set to off. So you have to change it um, up and down. So in order to do that, you have to hit menu again. And it'll drop down to the bottom. Let me go back. Menu. So hit menu again. Frequency direction. So you, it'll be off like that. And you push the down arrow. Starts at negative. Then goes to positive. Then you hit menu again. Confirm. And then you can go back to exit. Okay. So you do that to both your radio and then your buddy's radio over there. And then you need to set your offset. So uh, again, this is set to 467. 0.625, which is FRS 14. So you go menu. Menu. You go 26. That's your offset, okay? So you hit menu again. Offset frequency. And then you go, it'll be set at zero if you haven't messed with it before. So you go zero, 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 six, zero, zero. Menu. To and exit, okay? So now if I have... Both of these on, like this. I can hit the PTT. And as you can see, I am now sending to that one. And in contrast, I can grab this one. And... Send to that one. So basically, that's your just your inexpensive, cheap uh, mobile repeater setup. Um, this costs. Um, I'll, I'll put a, a link to it in the comments, and uh, I'll show you a picture of just the cost of this item right here. Um, this again is the simple repeater circuit. Um, also, the reason why I have this box here is I just want to show, this is my, uh, this is all my, this is my accessories box. So in here I have, uh, mics, I have, you know, just extra antennas, um, I've got, this right here is just a list 
of all the channels and their names. So again, um, FRS 14 is a uh, 467.625. Um, and then also this right here is a little, uh, get it out here. This is, it's kind of a mobile uh, setup so that I can actually um, charge my bail fangs if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, if I don't have access to a vehicle or whatever. Um, this All this is is just two six volt uh, um, deer feeder batteries and they're run together in parallel to make 12 volts. This is a uh, just a simple little cigarette lighter um, with a couple of USB attachments and then in here I have um, a charger so that I can actually I can charge either just off of these straight into my large battery packs because they have the the charge port on the side there and I also have an adapter in here so that I can actually hook it up to uh, these right here so that I can charge those um, but anyways, that's just my simple little, um, mobile repeater setup. This is excellent just to get the extra range. Um, from what I can tell just from with my buddies, uh, maximum range with these in a rural setting is about 10 miles. So with a setup like this, you can essentially, uh, double your range. So, um, if you have, you know, again, uh, like, you're able to go 10 miles from you to your buddy um, before you start breaking up really badly. Um, with a setup like this, you can essentially double that range to 20 miles, essentially, or theoretically, I should say. Um, of course, it does matter the terrain. It does matter um, sky conditions, stuff like that. Another thing, too, is you see that I have these long whips. And uh, on this one right here, the Camel one, I actually have a 42-inch uh, Aubrey. Um, folks, if you're going to buy bio fangs, I 100% um, recommend that you purchase an, uh, better antennas to upgrade them because these little, these are called rubber ducks. With these little stubby antennas, the best range you're going to get is maybe about two miles um, in a rural setting. The reason why I keep talking about in a rural setting is in an, uh, in an urban setting, you are going to go about half. So if you get about 10 miles in a rural setting with these larger antennas, um, the best you're going to get in an urban setting, and I mean the very best, is going to be maybe five miles. Um, so anyways, keep that in mind. Also, for those of you all that are wondering why these little straps are glued onto the side of uh, my toolbox here, these are just so that I can actually just uh, hang my, my radios off the side. So anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a like, share it to some of your friends and family. Um, I know a uh, mobile repeater set up like this can be... a uh, kind of a little complex thing, um, kind of confusing. Uh, if you have any further questions or concerns, drop them in the comments. Thanks.